Okay, g'day all. Welcome to the second tutorial on uh, making our little calculator in C Sharp. So I was just having a bit of a play just a minute ago and I realised that the um, text block that I used to print out the characters that the user was typing uh, doesn't actually have a background colour, so we'll change that uh, to a text box, I think, since that has a background colour and we are to see it much easier. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do in this tute was uh, have a look at adding a decimal point button and some operators and see if we can't get our calculator to actually calculate something. Uh, so first things first, if I get rid of this stupid thing, see you later, and we drag a text box up here instead. Yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, where's my properties? Over here. Yeah, that's them. I also noticed that if you select properties when you've got your solution uh, selected in the Solution Explorer, it actually comes up with these uh, solution properties, so that's not what you want. Yeah, make sure you've got your app XAML selected, and then the uh, control that you want. Okay, so I want to change the background. No, I don't really. I want to change the um, text size. So where was that? Text. Yeah, it's here. So we had, I think, 48. Yeah, 48. Uh, what else have we got? Common. Okay, the text is nothing. And... Yeah, I think that's about it. So we better name it TXT Output, just like our last one, because the um, buttons actually go and change the value of a control called TXT Output. So, if I double click on that, take me to the event. Yeah, that still seems okay, so I'll just run it and make sure that our change of a uh, text block to a text box is uh, good. Yeah, still seems to be good. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is add a decimal point button, just in case people want to do some floating point calculations. I'll just copy the 2 button and paste it. That's uh, Control c and Control something else v And I'll put a decimal point there. Okay, so that event, I think, will already be uh, hooked up because I copied button 2, and button 2 already has an event attached, so I think that one's going to be hooked up as well. Let's just double-click it and see. Yeah. Um, alrighty, so we don't want it to be called BTN2 copy. We want it to be called something like BTN decimal. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to need four more buttons for the operators. So if I just copy the 8 the 9, the 6, and the 5. Copy and paste. I might just move them over here. And we'll change what they've got. So we'll just do four basic uh, operators today. I was wondering to myself how useful it would be to um, show the shunting yard algorithm. There's an algorithm for passing expressions so that you could get you know, your little game engines or, or calculators and things to actually pass maths expressions with um, brackets and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if folks are interested in that, then um, yeah, maybe we could go through that. It's a really interesting algorithm. Anyway, shunting yard it's called, if you wanted to look it up in the meantime. Uh, but for today, we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to have any brackets or anything. We're just going to uh, pass our expressions from left to right. And what I might do so that we can um, split the string uh, when the user hits equals, um, instead of going straight to the digit click button, well, first of all, I might just rename all of these. So we'll say uh, BTN operator addition. I might go down here and rename them BTN operator. Whoops. Okay, BTN operator subtraction. And this one, where's that? Here we go. BTN operator divide, obviously. BTN operator divide and BTN operator multiply. Okay, so subtraction, addition, divide, and multiply. Now, um, the event that I want this to go to is um, one that also adds a space, you see, because I want to split the string. I want to split it into numbers and operators so that we can, you know, easily read what the user uh, wants us to do with the numbers. So I'm going to add spaces about the operator so that I can just do a split on space when we read the string. Good stuff. Okay, so I'll click on the event and instead of BTN digit click, we'll go BTN operator click. 
and it takes us straight to the code. Good stuff. Okay, so we might just copy this one. That's the um, digit click event, and I'll paste it here, but we'll also add spaces either side. There, just like that. And if we come back here and I save it, um, so the plus operator has that event attached to it, so that's just going to write you know, the operator up here in the uh, little output box, but we've got to copy that operator and, well, sorry, we've got to copy that event and paste it over these digit click ones that the other three operators have. So our divide, is that right? Yeah, they're the last four. So the divide, multiply, addition and subtraction buttons all go to the same uh, operator event. Let's just hit play and make sure we're on track. See if we can't type an expression. I want to know what 89 divided by 3 is. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's no equals button. That was silly. Alright, I'll copy the divide. I said I'll copy the divide. And paste. Put it just here, I guess. Pretty messy looking calculator, but this is this is going to work out, I think. And we might call this uh, BTN equals. Whoa. And we'll change the text to that. And we'll also change the event to BTN equals click. Yeah. Might just double click on that. Yeah, so that takes us there. Okay, so this will be actually where we type out the uh, answer, where we calculate the answer and, and spit it back to the user, but we're not quite ready to go there. If I just um, save that and save that. Um, you know what? I think we are ready to go there, so I'll just double-click on that. Okay, so what we want to do here is string, uh, we'll just say text equals, and then whatever the text of that control is, and what we want to do is split it into three. So I might say um, string that equals text dot split. And you could put in the separator here, which is a space, but we don't really need to. So I might just might just leave it out. And space is the default, I believe, or white space is the default. It'll split on enter symbols and that sort of thing as well. Uh, but uh, if we for int i equals zero, while i equals uh, less than text dot count i plus plus. Actually, you know what I might do? I might just say um, txt output dot text equals text dot count. Oops. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that it's, um, what's the problem? Count. Oh, oh too string. Silly. Um, I just want to make sure that it's splitting it, okay. So 96 plus 3 equals 3. Okay, so that's good. It's split it into three different little strings. So we had the first number, the operator, and then the second number. Now if we bring this down and we say stop. Okay, so I might just say uh, if it's text uh, 1 equals um, plus, this would be where we do the addition. Else if, settle down, that's a string there. Else if, and we'll say text 1. So 1 is the uh, operator. Yeah, text 0 was the first uh, number, and 1 is the operator, and 2 is the second number. Whoops. Where am I going? Okay, so um, let's say double n1, number 1, equals, whoops, double dot, settle down, double dot pass, uh, text 0. 
and double and two equals double dot pass text and two. Actually, you know what? We can do this outside here. We don't have to do that for every one of them. Okay, so N1 is the uh, first number, N2 is the second number, and we've got the operator just here. So all we've got to do now is txt output.txt equals uh, N1 plus N2 in brackets to string. Aha! Okay, so we'll do the other operators. Uh, and then we'll change the addition. Obviously, we've got to do um, minus for the subtract. We've got to do divide for divide. And we've got to do multiply for multiply. And if... This is a special one for divide, because if you divide by zero, you know what happens. Ah, uh, don't do it. Uh, if n2 double equals 0, 0.0, txt... Uh, where are we? txt output.txt equals a hamburger. There we go. That way we don't get the um, divide by zero error. Instead, if you try and divide by zero, it'll give you a hamburger. Okay, let's see if that actually goes, shall we? Um, all right, nine plus six equals fifteen. Good stuff. Uh, plus three equals eighteen. Good stuff. Divided by zero equals a hamburger. Oh, nice. There we go. So I got a hamburger out of all that. I'll just wipe that. Actually, I might make a clear button while I'm here. I'll make a clear button, then we'll call it a day. That's been pretty good, actually. That went without a hitch, I think. Um, all right, so they call it C. Let's just copy the minus button, and I'll paste. Shift it over here a little bit, and I might put a C on there. C for clear. And that's going to be down the bottom somewhere. This one. Okay, BTN clear screen. And the other thing, the operator, it doesn't go to BTN operator click. It goes to BTN clear screen click. And then I'll just double click on that to take them to the code. And we'll txt output.txt equals nutter. And we'll run again and just see what's going on. 96 times 32 equals 0.52 times 98 equals, and clear the screen. Good stuff. Um, okay, so that's a basic little calculator the way that it stands. So all we've got to do is maybe add some finishing touches, some cosmetic features, and um, if anybody's interested in the shunting out algorithm for passing expressions, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, it's a really good algorithm, and I'm pretty keen to talk about it, but uh, I'll only do it if anybody wants to hear it. Anyway, until next time, folks, thanks for listening. See ya.